What is going on, people? Welcome to another episode of JB360. Uh, currently on the West Side Highway bike path. Have a little bit of a different video today. Kind of wanted to go over uh, an upcoming DIY project that I've uh, been planning out for quite some time now. As you guys can tell, uh, I am not riding my usual bike. I am actually riding the E-Move Roadrunner. I had gotten this off of Marketplace for actually a pretty good price. And uh, I am planning to mod the F out of this thing. For starters, um, the bike itself, well actually this is considered a sit down scooter. Uh, it's actually pretty zippy. I think it goes like 30 miles an hour plus. Um, but uh, it is dual motor. And what I'm planning to do is uh, I'm gonna be upgrading it to a 72 volt system. Currently it runs 48 volts. Uh, I believe the battery is like a 21 amp hour battery. And uh, yeah, I'll be uh, turning this into a 72 volt system uh, with dual motors. Dual motors, dual controller. Left side. Dual motors, dual controller, uh, one throttle uh, to initiate both motors. And uh, I'm gonna be putting uh, 4,500 watts in the front and about 5,000 watts in the back. And the controllers I'm gonna be using actually are uh, imported from Singapore. Uh, they're called YYK controllers. If you guys aren't familiar with uh, the Fido QS1, it's a very popular uh, mini bike or mini scooter that is uh, very, very customizable in terms of uh, you know parts and, and motors, batteries and such. Uh, they're like all over Malaysia, all over Singapore, Philippines. Like the Fido game is like crazy, crazy insane over in Asia. And uh, the motors for the, um, wasn't supposed to go there. The motors for the Fido are actually compatible with the uh, Roadrunner Dropout, you know, so uh, they kind of retrofit really nicely. And, uh, you know, I could have gone the Fido route uh, for a mini bike build, but I decided I like the Roadrunner so much. I love the frame. It has this sort of like, like moto sort of uh, aggressive frame style uh, compared to the Fido. And uh, yeah, I wanted to be one of the one of the first to actually uh, modify it for a high power build. There, there is there are a couple of people that have modified uh, the Roadrunner. I, uh, I'll put I'll throw actually uh, a couple of uh, screen grabs uh, for the 72 volt builds for the Roadrunner, and you'll see uh, the one that kind of looks like a mini Onyx. That's definitely the look uh, I'm going for. Uh, I spoke to the guy who. Uh, built the first version of it uh, his name is Paul he uh, kind of did the same route with the uh, 12 inch motor on the uh, Roadrunner and uh, he ended up using I think a 150 or 200 amp Saviton with the uh, 12 inch motor and it actually uh, melted the wires but uh, overall he was able to get about I think like 50 miles an hour on flat ground, which is uh, pretty impressive. But uh, he was running single motor. So this will be uh, slightly different. But in terms of look, I'm definitely going for Paul's look. Uh, trying to give it that like moto style look, like, like pocket bike look. All right, so let's take a look at the bike here. Ooh. So, yeah, I mean, this is, the, for those of you who have never seen the Roadrunner, this is the, uh, the stock, stock setup. And, uh, you know, basically, you know, besides upgrading the motors, so 4,500 watts here, 5,000 watts in the back. I'm also going to be upgrading the front suspension. Uh, it's going to be uh, inverted fork. 
uh, that's actually meant for the Fido, but I'm going to be using it uh, for the Roadrunner. Definitely, definitely, definitely going to be upgrading the seat. The seat's kind of like hard as a brick. So uh, I'll probably be looking to JB seats in California, probably for a custom, custom seat. Um, so in terms of the battery, uh, we're looking at 72 volts. Probably I want to reach like maybe like 42 amp hours. So I'll probably have to do something with this, with the uh, battery plate here, probably remove this. So there's like more room uh, for the fitment of the frame. So yeah. Um, in terms of the controllers, I'm probably going to mount them maybe under the frame here, like sort of like on top of the battery. Uh, I looked under the seat here. It has the original stock controllers, but the the new ones that I'm getting from Singapore, they're like two ADM controllers. They're kind of big. So uh, I'm going to try to find a way to mount those over here and then maybe something over here as well. So, yeah, I mean, I just upgraded the brakes actually on these. I upgraded these to Shimano MT200s. I'm going to be upgrading the rotors, of course, uh, for the higher speeds. But, uh, yeah, uh, I've been wanting to do this pocket rocket bike build for, for quite some time now. Uh, I've always been intrigued by the Roadrunner. I've wanted one since they released it, uh, I believe, over a year ago. And, uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, it's a nice frame. It's a nice, it's sort of a nice, like, moto style look by the end of by hopefully by by the time i'm done with it i'm probably going to get also a upgraded headlight over here return signals and then uh rear light in the back as well uh, i'm going to replace these pegs too these pegs are kind of falling off here but yeah so the those are the plans for the uh the build uh, i was actually uh i've been talking to singapore for quite a while now just kind of getting picking their brain in terms of uh, build and, and using the uh, the controllers, the YYK controllers. I actually uh, spoke to uh, one of the guys from East Coast Scooters. Big shout out to uh, Javier. He uh, He's part of the East Coast uh, Scooters group in uh, New York City. And he's uh, worked with uh, dual motor setups before for like uh, Fido scooters and uh, regular scooters as well. So uh, I've been talking to him a little bit uh, in terms of uh, basically getting a good idea of tuning and, you know, in terms of uh, throttle setup and stuff like that. So, yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, once I get the parts in, I should be getting the parts in probably in about a week, less than a week. And uh, yeah, it'll be sort of this like three, four part series of uh, building. Well, where I'll be just taking you guys throughout the, my little uh, pocket bike journey. And uh, hopefully we can get this thing past uh, 50 miles an hour. That'd be actually pretty good. <laughs> I'll be satisfied with over 55, but I've, so, I've seen some of these Fido's go like 60, 65 miles an hour um, in some of the uh, YouTube videos. So yeah, hopefully uh, everything comes shipped, ready to go. I'll be showing you the uh, wiring, you know, process and uh, sort of replacing all the parts. In terms of battery, I'll probably reach out to Sal, see if uh, we can get a custom battery going for that frame. But uh, I know that's gonna be probably the most expensive part of the bike. Also the one that takes the uh, most amount of time. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about the uh, DIY series coming up. And uh, if you guys are interested in, uh, the Roadrunner. Tell me what you think about it. Does it look funny? Does it look silly? That's what I like about it. It does look funny. It looks silly. But I've always wanted to do this for, for quite a while now in terms of a build project. And uh, it's finally, finally coming to fruition. Uh, that will be it on this episode. If you like the content today, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Or subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, y'all.